1,185 days. I'm throwing it back all the way to Black Ops 4 Las Vegas. That was the last time Optic fans got to watch their team with the trophy. But the curse has been broken. The merger has been proven successful. And most importantly, Optic Texas are your first Vanguard event winners. The entire weekend was unbelievable. I thought for the first event, there were so many good matches, so many intense series. But at the end of the day, there could only be one winner. And that winner was Optic Texas. So I wanna go into their finals match first phase, break down a couple games, and just talk about how much this Optic team has improved since early on in the qualifiers when things didn't look too hot. When I last talked about this Optic team, I said, that they thrive when the games are mixy, right? But when the games seem to slow down and, and be more structured, they seemed a little lost. They, they weren't on the same page, right? They lacked kind of a, a in-game leader to, to keep them focused on what the goal is. This right here proves that it's something that they've worked on a lot. So as you can see right here, okay? Shanti is the closest Optic player in terms of getting an, into an engagement. Okay, we're gonna get to this Look at the mini-map. Shotzi gets up to boat, and he knows he needs to wait, okay? He needs to wait for info from Dashi, from Skump, um, and Illy. Now, Arcides was pushed up Cliff, and Illy was able to kill him. So Shotzi is now making the, the heads-up play to... He's expecting someone else on phase to try and, and trade Arcides' death, right? So he goes up top boat. Doesn't see anything. Then he realizes, okay, look where Skump and Dashy are. So because they, they're still not really giving him much info, that means most of the players are probably around the hill, around green, um, or playing like a corner somewhere, which as you can see, Simp is under him. But so he doesn't just jump the gun yet. He waits because he's waiting to have a well-coordinated break with Dashy and Skump. And what happens is because Illy got that kill on our cities, Phase readjust. They reposition where they're at. And as you can see, it's just, it's perfect between Dashy, Skump, and Shotzi. And this is, they essentially make this hill go from Phase getting, you know, early time to where not only do they break, but they are spawning them in the back. Okay. So this goes from where it could be Phase taking the lead to, uh, Optic getting time and making it scrappy while also keeping control of the game and control of essentially the next hill. So you can see even Shotzi backs up towards ring because he knows where they're going to be spawning at, but they're just trying to trap them in. No one is doing too much. They're all just doing exactly what they need to do in this situation. And then right here, just watch how Optic take advantage of this game. This is the dagger. Now they're already up a lot. Uh, they're kind of putting the pressure on phase but there's 52 seconds left phase can slowly chip away at this lead but optic just don't allow it okay they have a pinch going on they're trying to go around the back with shotzi and skump and dashi understanding his role in this team as the main ar he's at ring but he's slow playing it because he knows if he gets kills like he did versus busy right here if he dies or tries to be too aggressive before uh, Shotzi and Scum make their move, it's it's a he throws his life away. And I think Dash, he's always been good at playing his life. But the biggest difference with how he played this event uh, and he was lights out was it seems like he understands which scenarios that he needs to be aggressive in and which scenarios he has to be that safety net for Optic. And then you have Illy. You'll see Illy make an absolutely disgusting play. He just, I mean, he doesn't miss a bullet. The fact that he's able to just pull that off. And then, and then Shotzi right here. This is a bonus. So you see how mixy that engagement was? That is where Optic thrives. But the fact is, in this event, they didn't rely on plays like that. That was the cherry on top, which is what you just love to see. And now, just for a couple more hardpoint clips, um, because I think their hardpoint improved tremendously. I'm not saying they were bad by any means, but I just think they became a deadly hardpoint team. It's plays like these. So, 
this this was a big map this could have been a 2-2 series instead optics able to make their lead and go up 3-1 and this is a play where there's 20 seconds left okay Shotzi, who's number three on the mini map you can see he could just help them secure this time but instead he knows the timing that he has right where you know it might not pay off he could get shot but he's going to try and do his best to get behind phase split the defense essentially and and flip spawns and look at the timing that he gets so he gets this kill and now he's just slow playing and trying to play his life he's trusting his teammates and then now look because of that play this went from phase having complete control and you know who knows maybe getting out to a pretty nice lead to now giving optic the spawns and phase is spawning out at old it i mean it's just you can't teach it well clearly you can teach it but plays like this especially in the biggest series of the event um you, you can't overlook them those are the game changers in these series especially when it's two top teams and optic was just they were money they were money time and time again when it came down to those types of plays and now this is a couple seconds after shots made the play and they got the spawns but optics breaking ability was fantastic you saw early in the gavutu when i showed you and right here you'll see it again so they're spawning in the back but face have control and it's shotzi once again making the play to where he goes top church to top radio top green but he knows he knows that he needs to be patient because all three of his other teammates are in the back he needs to wait for them to make a move to get a kill to get some sort of opening so he's not just going to instantly ego chow he's not going to try and go mid alley okay and help him out this is the longer route but he knows that phase is going to be coming through the front so he needs to play slow and look what he does he waits he waits he, he, like you know he stopped right here he's been stopped just waiting for simp he could have just been sprinting and, and, and try to hit a quick pinch but no he doesn't wins that gunfight and now they're able to collapse you could see the rest of his team collapsing at the same time and it, it's not like you're going to guarantee a break by any means but you give yourself such a better opportunity to break a hill and this is big even though it's kind of gritty back and forth okay they make it so phase doesn't get clean time and they flip them because of that because optic had the back spawn right there phase had everything going their way and optic they just take it away from them instantly here is another perfect break and shotzi's 15 to 25 right now okay so this is something that you know casual viewer they're just like damn shotzi's not having a good map but look at another play shotzi makes now i have to give credit to the rest of optic as well but they're down they're down by 30 points this is a big hill because church is an easier hill to hold on this map so the most important thing is shotzi takes a route okay shotzi gets around the back now watch he pushes in because he knows that the rest of optic is coming through the front but just look at their teamwork so he finds a gap in phases hold when he gets that first kill skump and illy they're go they're go 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 but watch this even though it's kind of hard to tell just look at their teamwork so shotzi dies after he gets one right skump jumps across right looking towards his his steps um like this just this area and illy slides behind him knowing right this is a bait and switch essentially um but instead of illy just sprinting in he knows i'm assuming their communication what was on point or if they just are, are telepathic or what he knows that if skump is looking in this direction i need to be watching this direction so not only does illy get a free kill as you can see skump gets his and that's just trusting your teammates trusting your teammates this was a flawless break and they saved this game from getting out of hand and once again this was huge this could have been a 2-2 series
little bit of time dash now moving on to control i i don't want to really go over too many things just because honestly control with with the kills and and the lives being the decider of who gets defense it's kind of played a little food gaze but i want to say that this is something that i love to see i haven't really seen many teams do this besides optic uh, maybe i'm just not watching enough but they have offense on tuscan okay they're trying to get a easy like a like a freebie cap off rip okay they're trying something different because normally teams are just going to go for a right and they're going to play the kills no optic don't and this is in the practice i gotta give a, a shout out to rambo ray but also the team because they're trying innovative ways to really secure an offensive win now it didn't really amount to much but just look they three through mid and they just fly and now they're catching phase off guard here like i love to see that look how in sync they were on this break this was a well coordinated play and you know it, it's hard enough to win an offense on control let alone tuscan control but the fact that they attempted that i love to see i love to see that they're trying to find ways to be innovative not only in control but just in vanguard as a whole and it it's paying off I, I can tell that they have been trying so many different things di different breaks different holds etc cetera, etc cetera. and they're figuring out the game together and then this is one of the biggest plays in this control i, I don't want to say i'm surprised but it's just a great play out of dashy dashy's number one all right phase already has a they're down three lives and dashy's just tucked away in this plat right so you'll see his teammates die his teammates die and dashy could have just kind of went over to the railing right over here but he doesn't want to throw his life away right because he doesn't know that phase is just going to all fly out of radio okay so he slow plays it he waits for his teammates to all spawn okay once they're coming off spawn that's when he takes his timing Right, because he could have he could have jumped up on the rails like i said and try to shoot the guys um or he could have instantly flanked but no he gives it a beat i don't know if he catches rc's off guard or just wins the gunfight either way that's what dashy does and he just goes he goes back to where he was at and he's playing his life okay because he knows rc is going to be calling him out if he just tries to instantly chow radio maybe he gets picked by bz or simp um but no he slow plays it and, and you see he's he's trying to predict what's going on but while he's doing this his teammates are doing a good job of trying to they're just playing for their kills in the back and then look he, he's still alive obviously Shotzi comes in through the mid alley and makes his play but i think a big a big part of of the reason why optic didn't just all go down and kind of be staggered is because dashy did such a good job of playing his life playing his timings and really just being being on the same page with his team um and, and that is a structured style of play that optic really didn't have early on in the season in my opinion now we are in the dagger game this is the berlin snd this is the snd that optic secured to win uh, their first event in Vanguard, the the Texas home, whatever. I don't even know what it's called. Doesn't matter. Um, and I just want to highlight a couple plays out of Optic where it was just really good teamwork and really good understanding of what's going on. As you can see, this is round one. So Optic's in a 3v2. They plant the bomb. Look at how they're playing this. Okay. Shotzi is by the bomb. They know that there's only two of them, by the way. If, if I couldn't make that any more clear. Uh, Shotzi is watching FaZe's spawn side. Then you have Illy, who he's not doing too much, okay? He's not, like, trying to peek out mid. You can see, which I thought Cell saw his gun here, but I, I guess Cell might be, might be a little blind or whatever. Case, maybe, I don't know. I um, mean, he, he does have glasses for a reason. But he's just watching the full pinch because they don't know where he's at. You know, he's watching if, if Cell is trying to full flank. And then you have Skump watching the outer if someone already got by. So he's probably communicating, I have this now, but someone could already be here. And they don't really need to watch mid side of the map. That's why I'm saying Illy's not doing that much because if a guy comes secret and say does come up behind Shotzi and kill him, 
Skump will be there for the trade. But you love the patience. Not only is Illy talented, he's a very smart player. And he's able to catch Selim, get a free kill. But just optic play it very patient, and they don't try and do too much. Now, their SD wasn't bad necessarily but i think at this event they improved in it tenfold uh they were lights out in damn near every snd i saw out of them this weekend and then this 4-4 round I, I was a little shocked because i thought this was a blunder by phase but also once again this is great plays out of optic especially scump and dashy they're in 2v3 okay and they have the bomb planted and so here's the thing Not only did they have the bomb planted, but they know how FaZe like to play it, and especially how FaZe is probably thinking, when the bomb's planted for B, you're usually stacked up um, in this like back warehouse area, right? And FaZe specifically loves pushing out the spawn. Okay, they love pushing into, this, into that spawn, into that warehouse area to kill the players that are trying to get eyes on bomb. But so Skump's not sprinting to it, okay? He knows that Cell just got two, but he's taking his time. He's trying to catch someone off guard. And Abizi gets caught off guard. I don't know uh, if this was a good play out of Abizi. Honestly, uh, well, I do know it was not a good play. But the fact that Skump was patient, not only him, but also Dashy, they don't need to rush it. They know they still have a little bit of time. They get this free kill. Now they turn it into a two-on-two. Now it's a whole different round. It's all different round. It's a four-four. Skump goes to get a check. Okay, he does a good job playing his life. But guess who it is? Dashy's right there. Instantly gets the kill on Celium. And now Arcides is he's basically screwed. He can't really do anything. That was a three v two for Phase. So not only did Dashy and Illy get a two v four. They get a 2v3 Dashy and Skump do, and it changed just the whole swing of this game. Good shots out of Dash right there, too. But, like, it just felt like they were so much more comfortable with one another in every single mode, and it showed in their gameplay. It really, if you go back and you watch the qualifiers and even the kickoff, it's crazy that they've improved as much as they have as fast as they have. And then this last round, this was the game event winning round. I love the innovation, not only out of Shotzi, but Optic. I've said it time and time again. This is what pays off. So just look at this round. Optic's on defense. So Shotzi runs in. Okay, opens this door. I heard that you didn't have to have it open necessarily, but he opens this door. All right. And he instantly dips out. And you're probably thinking... Um, okay, I don't know exactly what he's doing, but while he's doing this, the rest of Optic is putting pressure on B, okay? Basically, the reason is, if FaZe is working B, Shotzi obviously just comes back and he helps them, but they're pushing that out as a team for this play that they're setting up. So they get the info, okay, they're not going B. All right, Shotzi, they can see the stuns, hear the stuns. Look at where Shotzi's at. Now, not only do they get the info, okay, nothing's B, so they're working A. Shotzi opened that door that we saw in the beginning of the round. And now you have uh, Dashy and Skump kind of coming back and, and working A with them. But Dashy, or, but Shotzi is able to be here because Illy is lurking. So, you know, if, if there was a guy that was up in this middle broken, or, or like their spawn, <laughs> uh, like on the spawn roof, Shotzi would be able to get picked. Over towards a. But this is just such a good, a good strat out of optic, and it perfectly executed. For some intel, you got Shotzi spotting a busy down low. But keep in mind, Illy, the brain. And so now, not only are they delaying uh, phase from planning, Illy is going on the long pinch. They're trapping them in, okay? They're trapping them in. It's like a snake where they're slowly just squeezing the life out of this face team. And then we get to see Shotzi make this fucking G-ass play. I mean, it's typical. Because Celium wins a huge gunfight on Illy. 
Massive he wins a huge gunfight. Unbelievable first blood. Now the three remaining members of Optic have to now contend with Not today. Not today, Arsides. And this is what I love. So look, there's a 3v4. This is another round where they were at the disadvantage in lives. But Shotzi makes this nerdy play, which he gets Arsides off the bomb. They already had info on a BZ outer. So once Shotzi gets the kill, Skump decides, hey, I have a timing to where I can go in. Okay, let me rewind one more time. So because a BZ was backed down by Shotzi, okay, he's able to poke out, get this kill, but he knows that there's an opening. Skump does. And that's why Skump goes, okay, he got that kill on bomb. It's a 3-3. I know a BZ's outer, but that means I can get to the bomb and maybe catch someone off guard. And look what he does. You see number four. He slips on through. Okay. It's a freebie on simp. And then Shotzi books it. He gets out from that spot, which got the, the blood on Arcides because they know especially from the info that Illy got them, they're all stacked up around there. So not only is Skump going in through that timing and they know Abizi's outer, Shotzi's able to go through secret because now they're going to be worried about Skump because he got the second kill on Simp. So it, it's literally all because of the timing on how they work the map that they do. Whereas earlier on in the year, in, in Hardpoint, in s and in Control, their timing seems so off. And that's why I said it felt like they didn't really have a good in-game leader. They, they they weren't really like on the same pace. Um, they weren't really understanding exactly what needed to be done. And uh, they proved me completely wrong at this event. Because they were flawless. They were flawless. Like they were a well-oiled machine. And I was happy to see it, man. You know, as dominant as FaZe has been, to have this level of competition um, and have Optic be able to come out, win on their own event, uh, it was great to see. It was great to see. I think the viewers loved it, and it was a well-deserved win. Dashy also played lights out. Well-deserved MVP. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is all. I'm out.